everybody. This is Lad here at Renew Tech Solutions, and I hope you like that new intro. I don't know if I can keep up with that heavy riff passion music that's going on, but hey, I love what the guy did that created that, and I'm very thankful. Guys, I am going to talk about something that is relevant. It is the summer heat here in Houston. It is banging hot, and when that sun comes out from 8 a.m. all the way into the evening at around 7, it does not stop, and you feel it literally at 8 a.m. And I say this because our home office and specifically the office that we're doing our video production work and everything else, we got two PCs cranking, it makes the room even hotter. And we don't want high AC bills, so we try to keep on average 78. But what we're hitting is right around 80, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Our core temperature on the Mac Hack Pro that we got clocked from 2.80 on our i7-930 chip is clocked over 4.0. Typical for a lot of chips that are being, you know, overclocked to that. If you're using the right air cooler, we're using a water-cooled system. And, uh, but even as water-cooled as you're going to get it, it's still going to run high if the room is hot too. So we're hitting on average between 45 to 47. So right in between that is 46 degrees Celsius. That is hot and it shouldn't be like that. Uh, we are using a paste because you can't put a core uh, head like we're using with the processor head as well as the water block it will never get flat it'll be more like your hand so you need a paste and the paste that we're currently using to sandwich all the imperfections to make sure everything's covered properly is the arctic silver 5. now we were thinking could this be our problem we're going to find out we're not sure but we are going to be using another one because this one here is not quite cutting it so we're going to be replacing it with this one here that we are going to be doing a review on for practical use. And that is the Indigo Extreme. And that's that thermal heat exchange pad I was talking about. Try to say that five times fast. Okay, say three. Well, there are two videos that I'm going to want you to watch. Okay, so after you're done watching this video in its complete form, I want you to watch these two other videos. One from Enerdyne Solutions. It's long and arduous. Watch it in its complete form. Use all the programs that they have, guys, because it's going to work. It liquefies this metal alloy because that's what this is, and it's going to flatten it the way it's supposed to and fill all the gaps properly, and it's going to show you when to cut off not using it and to turn off all the programs. The other one is from Maxis Shine Extreme. Now, that guy that performed that video actually shows you how to put that on your processor head. So those two videos are key. The only thing that I did notice on those two videos that weren't on there the way I was hoping to see what I needed to see was the temperature comparison, the before and after. And that's all I'm doing here. And you'll be able to see that. Hopefully, we'll be able to hit two to three degrees better. I was hoping to see four and six, but again, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to see that, but we're gonna find that out later. So guys, I'm a little scared because this is new, but I'm excited, so let's get to it and make it happen. All right, everyone, here's the Coolant CPU 360. As you can see, this is perfectly horizontally level on this side, as well as this side, the bubbles on top. We actually did it on this side as well, and it was perfect as well as on here. So everything's horizontal, laid flat. So when this pad liquefies, it'll liquefy evenly. And what we're gonna do is actually take the coolant uh, CPU 360, and we're gonna switch it 90 degrees that way because uh, the uh, grooves are actually longer uh, in a up and down uh, stance than they are, you know, left to right. So we're going to switch that so they're wider to cover more of the i7-930 processor. It might change attempts a little bit. I actually read it on the forum on coolants. I didn't realize that. Now I do. So we'll see what happens if that changes anything. So let's get to it and let's get this install happening. All right, guys, here it is. It's on. I finally got everything uh, aligned and I did that U-shape as you can see the U-shape from here all the way around, I did it on this side where you see it's thicker. Uh, on the other video that the other gentleman did on Maxishine, he did it on the opposite end. I guess you can do it either way, but uh, I just did it according to the instructions. And guys, there's so much to miss uh, that you can easily miss. It's not like regular thermal paste where you just put a dab. This is a process. So, uh, and um, right now I'm just in the beginning process here. So let's get this thing uh, back on the water block and let's get this thing cranking. Let's see what we can make happen. Hey all, this is Lad. Once again, you're probably wondering why I got this big smile on my face. I'm gonna tell you why. It's because of this product here. Guys, I am simply mind blown at what this thing did. Um, look at our, I'm gonna to toss up some pictures up here. I want you to see the three pictures of our before score uh, temp-wise. We use real temp on Windows. So you get to see 
on average, what we got, and then we divided the three, and that was the average score. Now, I want to show you this product before we show you the after score of what we got for our attempts. Now, this is what we called before the thermal heat transfer pad. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be called the engineered thermal interface. Now, this engineered thermal interface actually spreads. It liquefies and it spreads. And as it spreads, when it's in this very hot liquefied form, we kind of turn into something like what, what I cut out in this piece of aluminum, okay? But what I'm going to do even better is I'm going to give you a website. And the website is called lab501.ro. It's a Romanian website. So you're not going to be able to, you know, read it in English. You're going to have to get onto Google Translate to be able to type in the URL in there to be able to read the full overkilled 17-page article. But what I did was, instead of just reading it for now, I jumped you to page 8 of that review. I want you to see just the picture. That will tell you a thousand words, guys. It will tell you everything about how tightly adhered this metal alloy had up against the processor. When this person peeled it off and took it off, guys, <laughs> you actually saw the text written in reverse from the processor head, as well as that brushed aluminum look. That's how well adhered it was. I actually thought it was the processor. I was confused. That's how well this thing works, guys. And we're talking metal from the processor head to metal from the metal alloy from the ETI from Indigo Extreme. And in this case, the water block that we use and not, you know, the air-cooled uh, metal plate. But it's like metal to metal to metal contact, guys. You just can't get any better. Now, I know there's a lot of pace out there and everyone's using pace and they're claiming one's better than the other, guys. There's nothing that matches this, guys. And to even get two or three degrees Celsius better, look at our after scores. Now, we took all our three after scores, obviously average them together, divided by three. That's our average score. Now, I remember mentioning to you from our other video saying that we'd hope to get four to six degrees. Well, guys, we did. We got 6.08 Celsius lower, guys. I am just, wow. That, to me, is just mind-bending, guys, to even know that we got that. That's the whole point of something like this. That's what you should be receiving, guys. Now, mind you, even if you only get two or three, that is astonishing. And it's totally worth the price that you're going to get for this. Now, guys, get onto our website. We have a sep separate uh, PC page that we're going to be doing since we're going to be doing our, our, our PC builds for our security camera systems. But we're also going to be including affordable PC builds, guys. And we want you to get this. And even if you don't buy you know, any PCs that we build, buy this product for yourself if you already have something for yourself and you're overclocking your chips. Guys, we want to thank Enerdyne Solutions for what they did by giving us a sample. And I hope we gave them enough big ups for this product because, guys, we're very skeptical about a lot of stuff that we get. That's why we like to test things out first. But, guys, there's simply nothing better than this product. Again, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be doing our next video on our G10 trainer uh, from Fox as well as our G10 tips and tricks uh, on our Fox Karambit. So later on, guys, hope you have a great week. Take care now.